That's, one, that's a fish. Are you joking me right now? I don't. I can't even process what's happening. That's that's like a once in a lifetime catch. That is too cool. Oh my god, I have a fish on and I'm stuck on this person's dock. Today is stupid, dude. Today is just stupid. That's a big fish right there. Yeah, that's a really big fish. This craw lure, I mean, I think you have powers. You legit have super powers. Today is going to be a very, very interesting day of bass fishing. We are out here with the world's most realistic crawfish fishing lure. I've always been fascinated by these super ultra realistic fishing lures I see people fishing with in YouTube videos. So I went on a little quest to find the most realistic lure I could fish with for bass around my own lakes. I chose this lake because it has all sorts of good bass fishing territory. It's got docks, wood, rocks just loaded around it, grass, and most importantly, it's got water. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, I'm ready to fish this lure in all sorts of cover because I really have no clue the types of bites it could produce, like the size, where it could produce bites. Because crawfish mostly live in rocks and everything, but I really don't know what to expect from this lure. Like I said, today is a very experimental day. We have no clue what could happen, but I'm excited to throw this thing around. I've never thrown anything as ridiculous or as realistic. I really don't know what to call it because it looks exactly like a crawfish. But I'm super pumped to throw this around, super pumped to try and catch some big bass on the most realistic crawfish lure in the entire world. Let's go, boys. All right, let's look at it under the water. I should probably get in the sun so you guys can see it better. I'll show you guys real quick. Look at that thing. See how the orange and like blue really stand out on it in the water? My theory is like, why would a fish eat a jig over than this? Because this looks like a, exactly like what a jig is trying to imitate. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, get way under that dock. Oh, that's a bite. Got him, fish on. Feels small. Maybe he's nice, don't know. He's definitely decent. Not a bad one whatsoever. He was just ticking at it, dude. Oh my god, he choked it. He ch got him. Dude, he absolutely choked that thing. <sighs> Look at that. Is he even hooked? I think it's just wedged in there. It was just wedged in there. He wasn't even hooked. The weight was just wedged in his mouth. Bro, what? How did that fish not come off? He wasn't... That geese is about to attack me. He wasn't even hooked, that's a post spawn. The bait was just wedged in his mouth. He ate it, he absolutely nailed it too. That says something. Look at that, beautiful. Look, he went right down to his spot. Never caught a fish like that. We're making things happen out here with this craw lure. You gotta name this thing too. We'll name him Charlie the Craw. Okay, Charlie the Craw. Let's catch another. Is that, a, that is a fish. I had a fish that whole freaking time and I didn't even know it. That whole freaking time when I was trying to paddle, I had a fish on. That is some BS, bro. What the heck? My crawfish slid down my hook. That whole time. What in the world? Cast it right in there and he took it all the way off the bank. Is that another one? Yep. Got this one. Running right at me. 
a decent one. Oh, that's a very nice fish. We might net this one. That's like a four. Oh my God, that's an absolute tank. Oh, I can't even hold him, he's so strong. Oh my God, that's a Mondo. That just happened, oh my God. I'm gonna put him in the net and get up to the bank where I can stay still and the wind's not blowing me. We just got a freaking Mondo, boys. Oh my God. That came out of nowhere. That was right after I just missed that fish. We'll put him in the net and then go lock ourselves up on the bank and we're gonna weigh this fish. I casted right at the corner of that dock as soon as I hit the water. I think I started recording and I had slack line. It was right after I missed the fish right here. Set the hook. Didn't think he was huge. He was running at, right at me. He jumped and I was like, Phew. then he jumped right into, he jumped right into the freaking net. That was ridiculous. Holy crap. So we're gonna break it out for sure on this fish. All right. We're all ready to go, almost. All right. All right, take your guess. I'm going four pounder. Actually, yeah, I'm going four pounder. All right, run away. Oh, just shy. Let me show you guys. Well, we haven't marked it. Three and a half. Three and a half pounder. We're gonna get him off the scale and get him in the water. Still a nice fish. I don't know why I thought he was four. He didn't look that big, but he feels really heavy. Absolutely beautiful. Man, it would have been a four, but it's post spawn. Absolutely beautiful bass on the craw. Let's get him back before this wind absolutely destroys us. Look, perfect revive too. Hold on to him a little longer. Come on, swim back down. There he goes. The crawfish lure, dude. That was a ridiculous fish catch. God, he almost jumped back in the boat. Let's go. Oh my God, I have a fish on and I'm stuck on this person's dock. You're joking. You're joking. That fish is on my line and I'm wrapped around this person's dock. <laughs> You're absolutely kidding. I'm just gonna have to grab this fish. You're kidding me. He legit just jumped in front of me and I was like, what is that fish doing? And then I saw my line and I, I, was, I was connected to him. All right, we're untangled. I can't believe this fish is still on. Okay. Hello there. Hey, how are you? Just looking right at me, eh? All right, well, take your time, you know. We'll get you out of there. Are you joking me right now? I don't even, I can't even process what's happening. Okay, well, he's absolutely, well, he's chilling under there. Let's pull him out now. Okay. Shall we? <laughs> what? What just happened? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Dude, this crawfish lure has got me going crazy. This crawfish lure has got the fish going crazy. <laughs> He's hooked on the outside of the face. Dude, <laughs> I'm trying to get my line from off this dock's ladder for like 40 seconds straight. A fish jumps right in front of me. I'm like, what's that fish doing? It's got... <laughs> It's got my line coming out of its mouth. And then that's what happened. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, you, you, you sound tired, you look tired, so we're gonna get you back. That's another post-spawn female. Oh my God, I don't understand what's happening today. This is like the weirdest day of fishing ever.
That's, what, that's a fish. He's in the grass. He's running right at me. <sighs> He's not that big. Okay, I thought he was about to be a tank. Wow, that's a dark green fish. That is a sick looking fish. All right, buddy. He got me all stuck in those sticks. Whoa, that's one cool looking fish. I want to land this one. We can just grab the line. Whoa, that's a bat one, dude. That might be pre-spawn for some reason. Not that big, but look, she's, that's a, that might be a pre-spawn fish. It's an, oh, came unhooked just like that. Might be a pre-spawn fish, dude. It's a beautiful one. We're gonna get her back on the same side we caught her on. She's ready to go to. She got me all tangled up in those sticks and I was just wondering how big is this fish? I actually thought that was a really big one for a second. Crawfish lure strikes again. He's getting beat up though. This weight is about to fall off the hook and I'm just, golly, I'm waiting for this weight to fall off the hook. Pretty good one. What's a fish? Dude, what the heck? I was looking for fish on bed and I actually, I actually hooked one and lost them as I was looking for fish on bed. Dude. What the heck? That's, those are the three words that described it today. What the heck? Now, the next craziest thing that would happen right now is for me to just Hook another fish and catch it right here. That is just, today is stupid, dude. Today is just stupid. Big bass just hit over there. Just sucked something down. Stupid geese, bro. Whoa. Those things are crazy. That's a big fish right there. Yep, yeah, that's a really big fish. Oh, that's a four. I knew it before I even set the hook, dude. Oh. Get in the net. Oh, freaking go. Oh. We've got a little audience behind us and someone's calling me on the cell phone and we just got a four pounder and someone's calling us. Sorry, Dad, I gotta talk later. Just caught a freaking Mondo. <sighs> All right, that's another three pounder. Oh my God, that's a beaut, dude. That's another big one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's let her go. Got a little audience behind us. That's cutting their house down. I'm just kidding. Dude, on the freaking crawfish. That's another three and a half three pounder all day <sighs> slam took me right off the rocks before i set the hook you heard me say it that's a big fish you know it's a big fish when they just kind of pick it up and then 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 it's just heaviness that's what that fish felt like exactly <sighs> it's number number six or something today golly we got like a this is dude this crawfish i mean that's another one there we go. Oh, just a little guy. I knew that was a little guy before I even set the hook. This is just ridiculous, dude. This is, this is too good to be true, man. The $13 I put into this little guy. Let's freaking go. Well, you cannot go without saying that was an absolutely ridiculous and awesome day of bass fishing. It was so sick to try out that new crawfish lure. First time throwing a bait that freaking realistic. And oh my gosh, it paid off. I really wasn't sure what was gonna happen today. And I'm super stoked. We had some insane eats, some nice bass, and just a great time in general, honestly. But yeah, it was sick trying that bait. It, it's definitely seen better days. The 
rubber is starting to come off the hook and it's lost its weed guard and it's just getting ripped apart slowly, but what can you expect from a bunch of big post-spawn bass? I mean, but yeah, absolutely insane day out here with this Chase Bates mud bug. I hope y'all enjoyed. We'll see y'all in the next episode of Real Bronze Bassin. Peace out.